Tattoo family. I hope everyone is having a good day. I hope my uh <laughs> my lipstick's not too dark. My cousin actually said that I look dead on camera, basically. She said it in a loving way. I don't mean to look like dead, but anyway, I put a little lipstick on. I hope you don't mind. Today we're gonna jump up in the car and we're gonna go do some prepping. Y'all, I watch dumpster diving videos and I have always wanted to peek inside of a dumpster. I don't know if I'm going to dig, but I've always wanted to do this, so I'm going to do it. And my, when my husband watches this video, he is going to die. But I'm doing it. I'm embarrassed, but I'm going to do it, okay? There are so many uh, people throwing away stuff in dumpsters nowadays. I'm talking important dumpsters. So, look, they got traffic coming from both ways watching me. But, look, I'm not digging in this dumpster, but I don't see it. Let me tell you, I've seen some people dig uh, some food out of the dumpsters. I'm talking steel packaged. The expiration date was still good on the package. And people dig out brand new clothes, all kind of decorative uh, things for their house. And um, I think it's amazing that they do that because they're actually saving things from the landfill. Okay, so we're about to walk up in this Dollar Tree, and I have not, the last time I went to this Dollar Tree, I was upset. I think I deleted that video. I was upset because it was, I hope y'all can see me. I was upset because it was empty. The shelves were empty, and I was shocked. I went in there to do a candy video, and um, I was so upset whenever I got out and got back to the car that, I mean, I literally cried. So, I'm about to walk up in there. I have not been in there in a couple months and go see what's going on. Oh, it's so cold, you guys. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. Here's the chips. I think I got a uh, buggy that's wrong. It broke. Okay, I got a different buggy. Alright, so let's see. So far, it looks okay, you guys. All right, so let me get down this aisle. All right. That's a peanut. It's not looking too bad. You got some empty shelves over here. All right, so here's your juices and drinks. So let's move along. Plenty of milk. The price for the uh, gallon is $4.40. Okay, here's the crackers. Um, a small box, <laughs> it's uh, 7 ounces, it's $2.45 for that. So here is the crackers and the bread and the cookies. Here's this aisle over here. This looks like the healthy food. Hmm, let's check out the healthy food. Uh, food smart, good smart. You get this for $1.35, not too bad. Here's the bread. Here's some... Uh, Granola bars and things. Okay. Oh, here's some decorations. Easter is coming. Wow. All right, here's the candy aisle. And this is where I did my candy video that time. It looks like they have more candy than they did last time. And then we're going to go over here to the cookie aisle. All right, so here's the cookie. The frozen section it looks pretty good I mean it looks pretty good you guys a whole lot better than it did last time all right here's the cereal aisle okay so this raisin clover valley no name brand raisin brand is a dollar 75 I'm gonna get a box of this I'm gonna get two boxes of this and I'm gonna package it up and I'll explain to you um, why well, I'm going to do that. I am also going to get the Clover Valley Strawberry Shredded Wheat for $1.75. And it is 15.8 ounces. So I'm going to get two boxes of this. Here is your peanut butter. Alright, sorry. I had it on not widescreen. So here's your peanut butter and your ketchup. They're low on their ketchup like they are were at Walmart. These are also good to get. I mean, they're $1.85 now, but they used to be cheap. I have a bunch of these that I got from the Dollar Tree one time for a dollar. That's good. 
here's your pop tarts and stuff I'm not getting any of that and um, I'm trying to see if there's any more cereal that I want to get let's see these right here these uh, golden puffs are two for seven dollars or three eighty five a piece I think I'm getting a bag two bags of the golden puffs Okay, here is the tuna fish aisle. Um, the Star Kiss tuna fish here is a dollar, or you get a three pack for two ninety five. Okay. And here is the sardines right here. I want to get some more sardines. So I am going to get four of the sardines um, in Louisiana sauce. They are a dollar a piece, so I'm getting four of those, and then I'm getting um, one, let's see, hold on. I'm going to get ten of just the uh, sardines and mustard sauce. Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you right now. I'm getting this cereal right here because I'm going to package it up separately in Mylar bags, and I'm going to store it, okay? And Maya likes that cereal, and we like that cereal, and it's already a dried product with no moisture in it. You can also pack, package up the cereal. I'm getting the sardines because I like sardines. I have a lot of it stored up, but you can never have too much of that. Okay, of course, your chicken in the can, you do not want to get from here. Um, the cheapest I see is $165. I'm not in the market to get any of that. I'm just showing you. This one's uh, $3.95 for just this one. Spam is $3.15 for a small can of Spam. Actually, the corned beef hash is pretty reasonable. I mean, considering it was $4 and something for a can at the other store. So that's not too bad. Here is your pasta right here. So you get a box of uh, two pounds of the elbow macaroni pasta for $1.65. This angel hair pasta is $0.90. Cents. I'm going to grab some of that. I got three boxes of the angel hair pasta. I have a lot of pasta stored, but I'm going to go ahead and get some of that. So here is your sauce. Let's see what the sauce is looking like. And yeah, you got your traditional Prego sauce. It is two pounds for $3.45. Here's a smaller bottle. It is one pound for $2.45. The Can Hunt's pasta sauce is still a dollar. This is just good in the case of an emergency when you need to open up something and you don't have time to stand at the stove all day and cook, okay? Uh, chicken broth, a <laughs> dollar twenty-five. You can get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is your soups. I'm not going to get any soups. Here's your beans. So you get. Uh, four pounds of pinto beans for three seventy-five, and here is your Great Northern beans for two, two pounds for uh, two seventy-five. I got Great Northern beans, I believe it was at that other store for two forty-five. Here's the uh, cold drinks. There's plenty. Um, I don't know what all this is. There's some some empty shelves right here. Alright, this is the juice and things. On this side is your baking products and your seasoning. So let's, I'm just going to look right here and see what I see. Okay, so your evaporated milk is 95 cents. That's not bad. Okay, that's not bad at all. I would prefer to buy powdered milk, which I have a lot of this stocked up and powdered milk stocked up. But this is always good to, you know, it's always wise to have all kinds of milk. If you are just one person or you're just two people okay and you don't want to go through the, the um all the the trouble of doing a five gallon bucket of sugar and stuff like that you can buy your sugar in containers like this this one right here is quite expensive it's 425 but if you are on a budget and you just don't want to go through the trouble of a that a preppers do but you do want to have some extra product stored up you can buy it already packaged such as this instead of doing it in the bag and just put it in the back of your cabinet, okay guys? All right, you see this big old box of baking soda? It's four pounds for $2. That's not bad. I have plenty of baking soda stored up, but 
I just have plenty of baking soda stored up, but if I didn't, I would be buying this baking soda. Okay, so they have beans over here, which is odd, but um, kind of got things a little everywhere, but that's okay. So, hmm. Well, they're very low on their dog food. Okay, you see these shelves? Okay. Very low. We don't get our dog food from here, but people who do. Here's the toys right here. And here's the cat food aisle. A little low. Alright, so this is the back aisle where the, um, here's, okay, well, uh, Paper towels, a little bit of toilet paper. We'll go down there in a minute. Here's the garbage bags and the Ziploc bags. Here's some more paper product on this side. Very low. Here's your dishwasher and liquid. Okay. Okay, Leon and I usually buy Dawn. We do. We have some of it stocked up. And we have other kind of dishwashing liquid stocked up. Like dollar, the dollar ones from the Dollar Tree. A lot of it. But $9.95 for 56 low ounces. But look right here. Here's a no-name brand for $5.25. It, it is, you know, just doesn't have Dawn written on it. It's true living. Three times the cleaning power for $5.25. So I'm just going to grab some of this. All right, so here's your washing powder, and I don't need any washing powder. And I noticed this right here. Maybe when you pull it up. Oh, there's an alarm, and th and that is for the pods. I guess people are stealing stuff, so they have to. Uh, hmm. Very interesting. All right, here's your fabric softener and stuff like that. I consider ourselves living in a, a safe city. I guess there's no city really safe. People even come to the uh, dollar store and steal. This is the things you put in the wall sockets to freshen up your house. They have it underneath lock <laughs> alarm. So here's your air fresheners and here is your cleaning supplies, you know, your mops, your brooms. I'm gonna take you around here and let you look at some cleaning supplies. Okay, so we finally made it down to the toilet paper. So I think there's, there's three Three packages of toilet paper, <laughs> and that's it. And it's eight ninety, eight ninety five. Okay, so I made it to the toys. This is the exercise equipment, the toys. Okay, so isn't this quite appropriate? Twenty dollars. It's cute. I'm not getting it, but I thought it was cute. So here's your personal item. Um, your travel travel size, hair color, yeah, your personal items. Y'all can get these for uh, bandages. I told y'all that on one of my videos. You can get it and use it as bandages in an emergency. Here's hair products. I was going to order something like this off the line, but since I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and get it. It's a package kit with the sanitary pads that you use for uh, women use for personal hygiene. <laughs> um, you can take those and use this to wrap your pad up around it. This is five dollars right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Here's some medicine, and it's kind of low. All right. Um. Here's. Yeah. Vitamins are right here. I take a B12 every day, and uh, let me see if I can find some. Okay, they do have B12 right here. Uh, little bottles, but I take the B12 or you can stick it in uh, under your tongue and it like, tastes like candy basically. You put it under your tongue and it works that way. It dissolves that way. I don't see any of those here. I'm pretty well stocked up on them though. Okay, so here's your cold medication. <laughs> Look, it, it is pretty well empty. Uh, yeah. Let me stock up guys. Yeah, you even have your uh, deodorant, and, th and there's really not much in there. So you even have your deodorant. <laughs> there's really no deodorant at all. So you even have that under alarm. They must be going through some horrific... Hold on now. 
They must be going through some horrific thefts to lock up deodorant and stuff like that. Um, here's your baby product. That's just in the world that we live in. That's exactly why I carry what I carry that you've seen me put in my, my uh, pocketbook this morning at home. People are desperate. When you come up in here and steal deodorant and plug-ins for your wall, when you have to lock that up or put an alarm on it, that's not even a necessity, basically, okay? Anyway, here's your uh, makeup and stuff. Uh, a lot of that comes from China, I'm sure, and that's why they're very low on it. Um, I'm pretty well... Uh, here's the baby stuff. I'm pretty well um, finished in the store, and let me look right here. And they have plenty uh, of home decor, and I'm going to tell you, they have some really nice home decor. The kitchen is the heart of the home. If, I'm not getting that wall plaque, but this right here is so cute. This is good for uh, organizing, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to get one of these. It's got three doors. It is $20, but I'm getting one. Okay, so I'm going to get some Q-tips. They're $2.50 for 500 count. Um, I don't I don't have a lot of this stored up. Leon was reminding me the other day that I needed to get some. And this is a sealed top. Hold on, let me pull it up. It has a rubber seal. You can put oil in it, seasoning. So there's one of that size, and then there's one of this size. You can put that outside of your stove and use it for oils and stuff. Okay, so I'm not getting that, but it's good. If you want to store your flour on your counter, it's good to get a container like this because you can't see through it and the light can't penetrate. Okay, I'm finished looking, y'all. I'm just looking, looking at all the key things. It's never. Oh, let me go down this all. What happens when you snoop around? <laughs> this is ball pint canning jars. I've never seen them at the dollar store. That's amazing. So I would rather have the ball jars <laughs> than to have this. So I'm going to put this back. Okay, so this is just a decision that <laughs> the important things come first. And I can always use ball jars. And another storage, storage container that small is not really going to do me any difference. It may sort out a few little uh, knickknacks that I have. But these ball jars right here can come in handy. I am not sure how much they are, because, um, but they have to be cheaper than they are at Walmart. I will find out whenever I get up front, okay? I'm going to grab me some. Okay, I'm getting three more, three bottles of the white vinegar. The Clover Valley is a dollar. All right, you guys, I am leaving the dollar store, and I spent, let me see, I spent $93. The ball jars were $9 a case. Uh, just a little bit more expensive than I would buy them at, um, you know, our local farm store, but... They had them, and a lot of times they're scarce, and so I went ahead and bought them. Okay, I'm on my way home now, and I wanted to uh, just say something, you guys. Anytime you present something, this is um, talking about people that uh, don't want to hear anything, you know. It, it, the reason why a lot of people do not accept things, and if it's too harsh or too complicated or too massive people do not want to accept it or understand it because a lot of times you can't wrap your brain around the truth okay it's very hard when you have a lot going on and you've got a lot of people telling you things it's very hard to wrap your brain around it okay sometimes it just has to sink in so if you can give someone a little bit of information at a time just a piece by piece they can they can process smaller bits of information rather than a whole lot of information at one time like us as preppers we're um i have certain channels that i watch i have certain newses that i watch um if i was to present everything that i watched or everything that i thought you know or everything um that i figured out you know if i presented everything that i do and everything that i know just like if i was presented a whole lot more if you if you try to put too much on someone to understand, a lot of people cannot process it all at one time. They have to sit and think about it. So just by being an example in any area of your life, whether it be your Christian walk with God and you're witnessing, or whether you're prepping, or anything that you do in life, if you just walk it out, present it at the times that you're able to present it, you know, plant those seeds, 
uh, tell people, you know, they got things going on in the world and just give a little bit of information, then they will be able to process it a whole lot um, more in a positive way than if you just start throwing things at people and cramming it down their throat, okay? Now, my mama, for example, I can send my mama all kind of news. I, she can send me all kind of news. We can sit on the phone and talk about politics. We can sit on the phone and talk about the things of the Lord and just cram each other with all kind of things in one phone conversation. It does not bother us, not one bit. Okay, we can take it. But, you, but I can't get on the phone with other people that I'm close to and do the same thing. Either they don't want to hear it or it's too much. They don't want to worry about it. They got a lot going on in their own life. <laughs> you know, they don't want anything more put up on them, you know, that they would have to worry about. Okay? So, it's just best to walk out your own prepping journey. Your, um, you know, stocking up, preparing things, gaining your knowledge. Walk it out. Be an example. And just give little bits of information to people that you love, that you care about at certain times and let them process it. That's the way you go about doing that. All right, so I love you guys. Thank you so much for going to the Dollar Tree with me in Philadelphia, Mississippi. I really got out and enjoyed myself. I always enjoy myself when I prep a little bit here and a little bit there. And I'm, I always have the peace of mind to know that in any situation, prices, war, uh, price, price is going up. <laughs> any situation that I will be prepared, Leon and I, for not only us, but for our family. We love you guys, and until then, we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.